Rashid. Maybe you can give me some answers. Yeah. Everything is going up. Coffee is going up. The butter is going up. The sugar is going up. The coffee is going up. And the problem is, inflation is going up and people aren't spending money. People aren't spending money. Apparently they are. That's how the inflation is going up. No, no, no. People are so buying. <laughs> I, pay, I pay $15 that's, for two coffees, mate. That's bullshit. That. They say inflation's going up. I don't believe it. No, I'll tell you now, in business, yeah. a lot of companies yeah. are, are saving. Yeah. They're sa- you know, instead of spending, uh, you know, like, say, for example, because I'm in catering business. Yeah. Instead of spending $200,000 on their annual um, you know, entertainment for their, for their employees and stuff. Yeah. You're only spending 50, and I know that. Yeah. This time last year, I was flat out catering for companies. Yeah. Then how come it's, the houses are going up? Like the prices, uh, like because everything is going up. Albanese's his key is letting the, uh, the, the migrants come in, which is okay. That's right. Hey, I was, yeah. yeah. They're, they're letting him in, so that's, that's and supply and demand. So the, the cost of the material costs too much to build. Yeah. And no one's no one no one's building. No one's got the money to build. And uh, they're saying the government's saying that they're putting, they're trying to, they've got incentives for people to build. Yeah. You know, so uh, there's more housing. Yeah. But the the problem is supply and demand. No but, housing. Now basically, it defines logic. Okay. The interest rates have gone up. I'm paying five thousand dollars a month. Okay. Oh, and you bought obviously, coffee too. Obviously, I don't have money like I used to. Now. The house prices aren't dropping. It defies logic. You know what? You know? Did you did you listen to uh, Tucker Carlson's, Carlson's yeah, oh, yeah. his you, his you, um, yeah. speech about houses? What do you say, mate? <laughs> obviously, nowadays people can't afford houses. You know, like a new new um, what do you call it? Like you know, like these young generation, they can't afford to buy a house. You know what they're doing? They're, you know, like I'm an immig- immigrant. Obviously, you are an immigrant yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? You but are. I'm born here. Yeah, so. No matter what anyway. you say. <laughs> now I'm not against immigration, right? But if you bring in half a million people in one year, they need houses, right? Yeah, but that's what's driving but the price you, up. That's what what's driving the prices up. Yeah. yeah. But if you don't have, if you don't have the means. To accommodate these people, don't bring people here. Yeah, but this is this is our uh, Australia's way of selling out. You know, instead of like you know New Zealand and countries where they give people a lease yeah. to own a house yeah. or to to pay a lease, so they don't actually take the land. You know, we've got a saying in Persian. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what my, the the saying is? What it says that if you want to buy an elephant, <laughs> you got to build that elephant house first. Yeah, Makes no, sense. Yeah, no. Here. Here, um, it's the other way. We're sold out. We're sold out. When you when you in, immigrants come in and they buy land, yeah. once you buy land, you own land. Yeah. Once you buy a lease, the lease expires. Yeah. You give up the rights to the lease. Yeah. So that's where you know New Zealand. If I want to go to New Zealand, you buy a lease. Yeah. If you want to go overseas, if you don't have an Italian passport, yeah, you can't buy land. You can just buy a lease. The problem is in this country, we sold out. You know, who owns all so the farms? What you're saying is that you know foreign invest, investors they're buying their and, and when they buy, yeah. they come in with cash. Oh, relax, mate. No <laughs> bank. They don't go to the bank for a loan. Yeah, they pay, pay cash. No, they go <laughs> bang. Oh, that's whoop. it. Yeah. All the Chinese investors. Yeah. And and this is what's happening. I think that you know I think that we've talked about this, but these politicians they use listen. They use their positions to make money. Daniel Andrews has got Daniel that many Andrews has got brown paper bags. You're, you're right. You know, Daniel Andrews has opened three businesses with Chinese investors. You know that? Yeah. They've got. He's got three different business ventures. How many paper he's bags do you reckon he got? How, he was in charge of, huh? how many brown paper bags of cash do you reckon he got? What do you mean brown paper for, bags? No. For doing things for people. Oh, oh for people, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. I think oh, his yeah, net worth yeah. is about 25, oh. 30 mil. Mate, he's worth a bit of money. Do you think that, you know, like, so this is what happens when these politicians, when they take office, you know what they do? They relax those laws that favor investors, foreign investors. They don't give a f- about their citizens, about you and I. Does it make sense? Yeah. If foreign invest, uh, investment is coming into Australia and if they think that they're making